let's go through and create a simple little card. So what I've done is I've opened up my uh, canvas here. It's 512 by 512. And the next thing I want to come through is click on the gradient, which is G, the shortcut on your keyboard. And we want to go through and choose some different gradients. So I'm going to come through and choose this greeny color here. You may not have that. It's a gradient that I've downloaded, but there is hundreds of free gradients on the internet. Just do a search, Photoshop, gradients, and download them and install them onto your PC. Once we've got uh, the particular gradient we want, let's just click and drag, and you'll notice now it's sort of got this greeny color background. So just changed it and I've dragged it downward so it's sort of light at the top and darker at the bottom. I'm going to add a new layer by clicking on the new layer icon down the bottom here. And the next thing I want to do is come through and I'm going to create a few lines around the outside. So I'm going to click on my brush tool. I'm going to choose a small brush and click, hold down my shift key and click over the other side. Click, hold down my shift key. This will give me nice kind of straight lines. Let's redo that one. It does help if you keep your lines relatively straight. This is just a simple little way to add uh, a border around the outside there. We'll come back to this shortly. I'm going to click on another layer. I'm going to go through and choose a brush. This time I'm going to choose a snowflake. So I've clicked on my drop down and I'll choose this snowflake here. I want to change my color because I want a white snowflake. And so what I'm going to do is use some different snowflakes around my image, making them all different colors, sorry, all different sizes. The snowflakes fall differently. And I'll just drop the opacity down there to make it not so quite vibrant. Create one more layer. And I'm going to go through and open up an image that I worked on earlier. It's a set of Christmas bells and I removed the background so they're now nice and transparent. So I'll just pop over and open them up. And here we have our Christmas bells. What I need to do is resize this image. So I click on image from my menu line, scroll down to image size. I'm going to make this 150 pixels because constraint proportions on. It's set my height at 112. I'm going to just click on Select and All and then Edit and Copy. And I want to come back over here and copy this into my new layer. And the shortcut for that is Control and V. And I'm clicking on my Move tool. I'm just going to click and drag this up the top and rotate it around by clicking on these little handles here. You'll notice that it's sort of sat over the top of my snowflake. So if it's sort of showing through, I can go back to that um, layer and erase it, but for now we'll leave it in there. And the next thing I want to do is create another layer and I'm going to click on the T for text and I'm going to put a Christmas message in here. So I've currently got uh, Lucinda handwriting chosen at 36 point and I'm going to click on my canvas and type in here Merry Christmas. Click back over onto my move tool and just move this over here. Might like to grab the handles and just resize it a little bit. If I don't like the colour, I can simply click here to select it and come up and change. Helps if you've got it selected. Click here to change colour. And you'll see now that it's a nice yellow colour. So that's looking fairly good, but the little um, boxes that we create around the outside here. It's a little bit boring so let's pop back down to that layer and that should be our current layer. And I'm going to click on styles and I'm just going to choose a goldy colour so that lifts it up that little bit more. I click back on this layer here. That's my layer that had the snowflakes on so I'm just going to go through and erase the snowflake because there's little bits of it showing from behind. Remember I'm sitting on a snowflake layer so when I'm rubbing it's not affecting my little um, jingle bells here. Now one trick you can do if you want to match the colors from here over to here by clicking it so it's selected 
you now want to go through and let it know that we're looking for a colour. Once you've got the colour picker up, just start to click on the colours. And you'll see now it's gone into the colour picker range of these ones up here. And that might look better on my image than that bright yellow and we'll click OK. We want to come through and add a drop down. So you click on the styles here and we'll click on drop down. Oh, sorry, drop shadow. And we'll go with that and it's just placed a nice little drop shadow. So if you're happy with your Christmas card there, you need to go through then and save your Christmas card so that you can upload it into Second Life. If you enjoyed this video, please hop over to Second Life Texture Tutorials. It's a video course that covers many different textures that you can make for Second Life. I look forward to seeing you there.